Joining us right now is associate head coach of your Kings, Jordy Fernandez. Of course, all guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. Jordy, thanks for the time. It is uh, much appreciated. First, let's start with Keegan Murray. Do you have any update about Keegan's status for this upcoming weekend? Uh, so he's he's progressing, uh, you know, in the right direction. Um, he, um, from what I know, he was clear to be around us, and now there's some protocols that <clears throat> I'm I'm not the expert, but he's got to follow. And uh, if if everything is right, then uh, we we will be able to have him. So you know, a few more steps, but uh, everything looks really good. Well, that sounds good because I know a lot of Kings fans are excited to watch Keegan play some regular season basketball. Jordy, let's talk about last night's game. Overall, your thoughts on the team's approach on opening night? Uh, so the energy was there uh, as you watched the game. Uh, you know, the anxiety of the first quarter was there. Uh, you could see it with the turnovers. Then we settled down, and our second quarter was our best quarter, especially uh, on the defensive end. And then from there, I think that it's, it felt pretty good. We relaxed and we, we forgot what we need to do to win a game, to close, to close the game, uh, adversity that we haven't faced yet, um, which that's why, you know, it was the message today is we have to learn together how to, what we need to do to win games, how to compete in this league. Uh, and, and that's the way that coach is going to establish the identity, and and we're not going to get there in one day or one game, but we believe and we have a vision of uh, who we want to be, and I think we're in the right direction. Jordy Fernandez is with us here, Cattles and Rami, Sacktown Sports. Would you say the final minutes of that fourth quarter last night was more mental, Jordy, than it was actually physical? Uh, so we, we were in a good spot, right? I think I believe we have like a five-point lead with a few, with like four minutes to go. We had a one-point lead uh, in the last minute and a half, and we have we had two possessions, and they were really, really poor possessions where uh, I think we had an offensive foul, and then we were in like one on four and another possession. So our shot selection down the stretch was bad. Um, our turnovers overall, uh, when you think like, 16 turnovers for 18 points, um, you know, that doesn't doesn't help you uh, at all. Same as, like, the free throw disparity. Uh, you know, we fouled too much. They went to the free throw line 33 times for our 19. So those possessions count, especially, like you said, towards the end. Uh, it can be mentally you guys are not used to play. Uh, like, those, especially the starters, about 30 minutes. But – Guess what? Everybody's on the same, you know, the same situation. Right. It's there's no excuse. Uh, we just have to be better. We have to work. We have to be positive. And best thing is, uh, we've seen it so far. Uh, we we can execute and do things uh, a lot better. So uh, we're 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 excited about that. Jordy Fernandez with us, Jordy. Uh, you mentioned the turnovers. I know De'Aaron had eight of those last night. Was there a common denominator, a common thread for most of his turnovers when you watched the film? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, everybody's trying to do the right thing for each other. But, you know, little things like spacing the floor the right way and being the right spot for your teammate, uh, you know, offensively, uh, when you drive the ball into the paint and there's a lot of bodies and you know your teammate is supposed to be in a certain spot, uh, you know, offense flows and you get the the high-quality shots that are easier to make. I think that yesterday was a clear example of us not being in the right spot or not being there on time. Uh, and, and that, you know, we... We got penalized for that. We turn it over a lot. It turned into points for them. Live ball turnovers, especially, those are the ones that hurt you. And, you know, I think that we, in that regard, we have to help each other. And that's what we watched today. And uh, I have no doubt in my mind because we've done it and guys have been excellent at doing it. So uh, we know we can get there. Aside from the turnovers and the late charge called on De'Aaron, 
Were you happy with Fox's approach and, and his engagement, especially, Jordy, on the defensive end last night? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've been really happy for him uh, since since I've been working with him. That's what I value. I'm not going to value only in one game. I think his performance, you see the numbers, is pretty good except for the turnovers. Uh, but at the end of the day, what I count is the day-to-day basis, the attitude, the work, uh, the effort. And right now we got over that first game. There was, like I said before, some – anxiety and uh, not knowing how to finish games in a new group with a new coaching staff. Um, And those are things that, you know, we have to get done and we have to be better and we have to help our guys. Uh, That's, that's what we have, why we have the job that we have and we will. So uh, we're very happy with the group and we believe in all these guys and um, we're, we're going to force them to, you know, learn and work, and when things are not done right, we'll let them know, we'll work at it, uh, we'll get better, and then we have a new opportunity in a couple. Uh, Jordy Fernandez with us here, Associate Head Coach of the Kings. All guests come to you from the uh, Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. Jordy, uh, Domas likely did not impact the game as much as many hoped that he would last night. What would you make of his performance? Uh, I think, like, at some point... Uh, maybe a little bit of frustration. Um, obviously, we all want to play well, and we, you know, we want to be good for the team and for ourselves. Um, but the reality is, he is he's that guy that comes to work every day that has a great attitude, that it's tough, that it's physical. Uh, and at the end of the day, when you know, like games like yesterday, sometimes you forget. Um, you know, the main things you have to do to impact the game at a high level. Uh, he tried his best to come up with a win. Uh, but I think that we missed a little bit more like rebounding, uh, more more showing his hands and less fouling. Um, and once again, he was another – he got also penalized for our poor spacing, uh, not having outlets – to be able to kick it out for his teammates. So, you know, all that combination of UCS line, I think that it reflects uh, right there. So uh, I know he will be better. Uh, once again, we, we've watched it. We'll, we'll, we'll help him individually to, for the group to just connect and, and we'll perform better. Just a few more for you, Coach. Jordy Fernandez with us here. Let's talk about somebody who was fantastic shooting the ball last night, Kevin Herter. What gets the staff most excited about Kevin as a player? Um, I think, I mean, obviously besides being a good shooter, he's just like a really nice, happy person to be around on a day-to-day basis. Right. Um, You know, and I think that that is important in a young group that is trying to come together. So his personality is big. um, And then on the court, his size, his playmaking, his shooting – uh, like you said, he had a big game. We're going to ask him and demand him to uh, to defend, to keep his chest in front of the ball and doing it without fouling. Yesterday, a couple of times with uh, Jeremy Grant, he, uh, he fouled and sent him to the free throw line. He had one really good one towards the end. But once again, we're going to hold everybody accountable. He did well, but we still want him to be better. And, you know, like you said, it's just another really exciting piece of our group. Jordy, back to Keegan Murray for a second here. Do you guys, as a staff, envision him starting at some point early on this season or still to be determined? This is a really good question. I think it's a question more for the head coach than it is for me. (laughs) Uh But, uh, yeah, Keegan has the potential to do so. We believe in him. Uh, We want to do also what's best for him and the group. Uh, And we have no doubt in our minds that that he'll be a huge part of our, you know, winning in the future. So um, we're excited to go through the process with him and helping him. Jordy Fernandez with us. Just two more for you, Coach. Uh, Before the season tipped off, I had mentioned on the show that the team isn't overly big. 
How concerned are you about that? You know, you get 56 paint points for Portland last night. Is that a concern for you guys as, as far as depth uh, of the size of this team? Uh, it is uh, – the size is the reality, right? It is uh, – we have who we have. But we can do things way better. Like uh, in the first half, they scored 22 points in the paint, which is a really good number. It will be 44 for the game. Well, really good. Like it would be above average or average. Right. Um, but then in the third quarter, they scored 22 points just in the third quarter. Wow. Yeah. And, and and they were playing small basketball, so it was more on us uh, not defending the middle of the floor. Uh, letting them, you know, go by us, not having anybody behind covering for, you know, for each other uh, and protecting the rim. Things that we've done throughout preseason, things that we've done in training camp and things that we didn't see in game one. So, you know, uh, the message was, you know, we we probably had our worst version of ourselves that we've seen in the last couple of months. Good news is that we can be better. So uh, defending the pain, we, we have a system. Coaches put together a great system where we will be able to to protect the rim. Uh, and yesterday, for sure, was a poor performance. Last one for you, Coach. Let's look forward now. Tough weekend coming up. you got the Clippers on Saturday. You've got the Warriors on Sunday. What's the number one priority for you guys heading into this back-to-back? I. You know, I, I think differently. I think it's very exciting because when you play against great teams, you should be excited to go out there and fight and compete. So uh, the number one thing is competing. Uh, I think we tried hard yesterday, but our, our purpose was not great. So my goal for the next two games is to compete and to do our best mentally, and physically with what we've built so far. And I'm pretty sure that we will be happy at the end of those two games if we do that. His name is Jordy Fernandez, associate head coach of your Kings. And coach, very excited to talk to you this year. And and I know that there's a lot of fans out there excited for this team. And we're happy that you're in town. And we look forward to a a great season. and, And hopefully this weekend you pull out at least one, if not two. Thanks, coach. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We're very excited to be here as well. 